is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Friday, January 20th, 2017, um, the Inauguration Day, and the title of this rant will be The Minority Administration, Unprepared, Inefficient, and Corrupt. So as we go into today, what we know right now is that only two of Mr. Minority's 15 cabinet officials have been approved. We know that only 29 out of 660 um, of high administration official appointees have even been appointed. And Mr. Minority has asked at least 50 of the current Obama administration uh, high-level people to, to be a stay over. And that 29 out of 660, that's like, what, less than 10, 5% uh, of those people. Uh, so not ready to come in, not ready for prime time. And let's just remember that Mr. Pop, Mr. Minority's popularity has decreased, has gone down since the election because people were looking for him to be presidential, to be deferential, to basically indicate that he wanted to be the president of all people. And he has not shown that in any way, shape, or form. And his incoming administration is showing that also, as uh, shown by the cabinet hearings, that he has multimillionaire and billionaire uh, people who don't even know the basic functions of the agencies that they will lead, and in many instances outright have shown in all of their previous experiences that they don't want those agencies to work the way they, the existing laws and statutes have them, are, are, have them to be working. Uh, <laughs> uh, just a couple of quick examples. Rick Perry uh, was basically who wanted to get rid of the P Department of Energy, took on the job as to be the energy secretary and thought he'd be going around the world uh, uh, basically touting oil as king, so to speak, finds out that the basic premise of his job is to is to watch the nuclear arsenal uh, uh, of the United States uh, a little bit more <laughs> entailed than he thought. Rex Tillerson, Secretary of State, uh, basically indicated that we needed to show China a signal, uh, possibly indicating that we might want to uh, do something in the South China Sea, uh, which would basically be uh, not an act of war, but a serious aggression that China would take take as an act of war. Uh, and Betsy DeVos uh, for Secretary of Education, who basically doesn't even understand what the educational uh, secretary is actually supposed to do, what, what, what her requirements are for the job. Uh, last night, the New York Times and McClatchy basically indicated uh, that um, uh, uh, our spy agencies have intercepted correspondence in terms of financial, possible financial transactions uh, between some of Mr. Minority's close associates uh, and the Russian government or possible Russian banks. Uh, so Mr. Minority is coming in with a very big cloud over his head and he has surrounded himself uh, with like-minded people of his ilk. Angry uh, let's just say agitated uh, and needy. And they want to put a stamp uh, on this administration right from the beginning. And everything that they have shown up to this point has been that they will be showing contempt for women, contempt for minorities and people of color, contempt for the poor, and even contempt for children. And the question is, what will it take to stop them?